Hey everybody, early morning, I'm in the jungle again. Property owner thinks I'm crazy, but uh, but he just laughs. Um, I've given him a lot of the relics I've found here on his property and so forth. Enough so that he'll kind of watch out for me and uh, keep some of the poachers and morons away. All right, here's a uh, nice early morning find. We got a corset clasp. All right, back at it, keep digging. Hey everybody, I'm not sure what type this is, but that's definitely a uh, Civil War bullet that's been carved. Good stuff. All right, keep digging. Uh, nothing but junk mainly so far, but I think that's maybe a doll leg or arm. Sorry for the camera flare here. We got humidity and early sunlight. Yeah, it's a doll arm. Missing its hand. <clears throat> it's starting to get hot already and it's not even eight o'clock. Woo, Lord. All right, keep digging. Hey everybody, bead alert here. I don't know how old it is, but my guess is probably 20th century since it's that lighter color of blue. Yeah, it is not wound. The grains of the glass, it's, it's newer. But I like it. It's glass. It's probably early 20th century. All right, keep digging. Bead alert number two. Now this bead looks older. This looks like the right shade of blue, darker blue, cobalt colored, yeah. See those lines in that? That means that that is wound around a mandrel, an iron mandrel. So it has a handmade bead. It's probably got a sheared lip that was polished off over here. So that is very old, probably first eight, half of the 1800s to mid 1800s. So yeah, I like that find. All right, bead number two for the day. Pretty cool, keep digging. Hey everybody, I thought that sounded like a nickel right here in the side wall, and it is indeed a nickel. Let's play the nickel guessing game. Are you a V or a shield? Oh, oh you're a stinking Jefferson. Wow, what's the date on you? Just out of curiosity, 1951. Wow, stinking Jefferson. Well, hmm, Monticello and Mona, goodbye. Hey everybody, got a small scent here. Um, I uh, found that out near the end, I found a nickel kind of towards the end too. You know, you get a lot of things here in turn rows. Um, farmer drops, because they've done work, driven down through, parked the carts here, blah, 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 for years. Yeah, it might be an Indian head. Let me wipe that off and see if that's an IHP. I'll be right back. Hey, everybody, no such luck. It is a weedy. There's the obverse. There's the reverse. You can see Pluribus Unum and the E of one cent there. All right, keep at it, keep digging. Hey folks, sitting here taking a break. It's pretty hot. Just thinking about stuff, life, and you know, it's, uh, I don't know how any hobbyist, any metal detectorist can have anything but gratitude uh, for this hobby, you know. Uh, we're here every place that we dig because of the kindness of other people. Uh, you know, we walk miles and miles to try to get some little tiny object under a little 10 inch search coil. Uh, it's pretty amazing that we find anything, you know? But uh, yeah, I was also kind of thinking about my mentor and you know, missing him, uh, kind of like a father figure to me. He uh, died a, a little more than a year ago. And uh, just thinking about how grateful I am for so many people, so many property owners, so many folks I've dug with over the years. All right, I'm gonna take another break and I'll get back at it. Hey everybody, got a little clay marble bonus. Nice. It's a little lopsided, but that's what it is. All right, 
keep digging. <laughs> Got a diaper safety pan and for my baby. <laughs> okay, uh, keep digging. Hey everybody, got either a button or a black glass faceted bead here. Probably a bead. Yep, black bead. Cool, keep digging. Hey everybody, I'm pretty excited because I just flopped out a two-piece button. Come on, be good. Be something good. It's vest sized. My guess is probably eagle. Yes, sir. Eagle, what kind? We got a C. My guess would be a C in the shield. Could be just enlisted, though. All right, let me rub on that just a little bit to see if there's a letter in that shield. Heck yeah. Wow. Hey, folks, so this is just a uh, general service enlisted man. Eagle button. Civil War. Shanks intact. Really, really happy to have that. All right, keep digging. More nickelage. Let's play the nickel guessing game again. Yeah, da, 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 da. what are you? Please be a V. Don't be no Buffalo EO. What are you? It's another Buffalo EO. There's the obverse. Here's the reverse. Huh. Wow, got some buffalo action here today. All right, keep digging. Well, I'll be darned. I got a, another signal that's down in the hole. I just scanned the dirt that I'd already dug out. And I got a bonus pistol bullet. Uh, probably 30 something caliber. And right in the same hole as another target. Wow. All right, definitely an early one. Keep digging. Hey folks, I've got a ditch here that I was aware had all kinds of pottery and glass in it. I've been digging in here just a little bit. I'm not going to mess up the farmer's field, but uh, I want to ask him if I'm going to do any excavation here. Um, he needs to be able to approve that. So I've just been eyeballing a little bit and, uh, you know, things wash out. Soil's always moving. I had a wine bottle I thought might be complete, but uh, it wasn't. But let me tell you, this is complete and that is an inkwell stuck in the mud phenomenal wow that is so cool oh it's pretty oh so nice that's such a great relic wow and then on up here I'm gonna set this over to the side on up here I've got another bottle and I don't know what it is um, I'm just going to walk this ditch for a little ways. I've got uh, various ditches on sites, and when it gets dry like this, I like to, to dig a little bit. Oh, I think that may be chipped and broken, but goodness, that might be a decent bottle. Let me just try to do a little bit of uh, light excavating down below here and see if I can get it out. Even if it's slightly chipped, I might still bring it home. That should be enough. Let me see if I can wiggle that. Yep. Ah, uh, the lip is chipped. Right there. Goodness, what kind of bottle is that? Is it marked? I don't know, but I like it. I really like it. Alright, I'm going to keep walking this ditch. I'm going to set this aside. And I'm gonna see what else I can find here. All right, keep digging. Hey, folks. This uh, shard says Curtis and Perkins and soothing syrup. So that's a Mother Winslow's fragment. That was the baby killer. Sorry if there's wind noise right now. Um, yeah, that was the baby killer. Um, finally, did away with in the early 1900s, I want to say, but. Uh, Interesting. I'm not going to keep that shard, but it's pretty pretty cool. All right, keep digging. Yep, I'm definitely going to be contacting my property owner here. I'm going to give him a call today. Um, that's definitely a spoon. Let's see if that's uh, if that's complete. Yeah, it is. Do 
totally is. That's an old spoon there. Definitely been hit by the ditch digging equipment, but cool. Yep. All right. Neat. Keep digging. Hey, folks. I just uh, scraped a couple times down the side. You know, I'm not going very deep, just a little, you know, just to see if I can turn out a bottle. And, uh, found this neck right here. I'd be interested in seeing what that is. I doubt if it's whole, but you never know. Might be. And then I also scraped this out. That's a little pepper sauce bottle. It's got a very funky mold seam and top to it. It's just real funky looking. Seam goes all the way down. Um, I think it's probably a pepper sauce. McKeel Henny or one of the many others. 1800s, early 1900s, but cool find. And uh, I also got a local bottle that I cannot reveal because it's from the place here. Um, and uh, yeah, let's check this bottle out. I think this is probably broken, but you never know. Um, wish, I'd, wish I'd brought my uh, small trowel rather than this big shovel, but I can go surgically here. Oh yeah, I think this is broken, look. Yep, broken. Darn, all right, keep digging. Well, here's another bottle. I don't know if that's broken or intact, but uh, I'm gonna try to find out here. I one-handed gingerly Oh, I think that's uh, broken. Yep. Don't know what it was. Drinking glass, maybe? Yep, darn. Alright, keep digging. Well, that's a marvelous find. Marvelous. That's a marvelous find. Hey everybody, got another clay or porcelain marble. Good dealio. I love these. They're just plain, but they're old. All right, keep digging. Here's a glass stopper. I like these. You know, folks, I've said often the treasure is everywhere. You just have to, you have to be open to finding it. You also have to be open to changing the game plan. You know, I came out today to metal detect and uh, ended up bottle digging so you just never know it's a great thing about this hobby keep digging well friends what on earth is that it's a thin brass star with a slot in it I don't know but I like it wow keep digging Hey everybody, finds wrap up real quick here. Got some suspender clips, baby doll arms, some prosser buttons, two of these uh, bottle stoppers. Got some nice marbles, um, including one clay, some porcelains. Got this nice spoon here. And then over here on row two, got the, uh, the diaper safety pin, large size diaper safety pin, I like that find. And I thought that was some 51, it's a 41 Jefferson. Some wheats, including a decent 1930 wheat. Uh, two buffaloes. One's a 1921, looks like. The other one's illegible. Two Civil War button bullets, one of which is carved. Eagle button. Two old beads. And I got some great bottles here. This one, unfortunately, is chipped, but that's what it is. It's got a pottle mark on the bottom. Beautiful inkwell is the bottle find of the day. Love it. And a pepper sauce bottle which is kind of cool. All right. Well, let's catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.